Hi everyone, in this guide we will take a look on how to install MAME and how to set the MAME basic functions in order to start playing some retro games. But before, please read carefully the following message. Okay, so first thing, you have to go to the site mamedev.org and download the MAME emulator. I chose to download an older version, but you can download the latest release if you want to. I chose the older version because I already have this version installed in my computer and it was easy for me to prepare the guide. After you download it, you have to unzip and to extract all the files inside the file downloaded. Then put them all together in a folder. Or you can do the folder before, <laughs> it was better, but I forget to do it, so I'm doing it now. Okay, so now, please, there, take a look carefully at these two icons. The first one is MAME, and that is the application. So you will need to execute this icon in order to start the MAME, and also take a look at this folder, that is ROMS folder. As you can see now, the folder is empty. If you click on MAME icon, you will start the emulator. And here it is. But now we can see that as we didn't download any ROM, if you try to start any game, the game will not start. Here's an example. It said that the ROM is missing. So we have to download the ROM. If you go on Google and you search just simply uh, main ROMs download, you will find a lot of sites where you can download ROMs one by one. But it's very complicated because you have to download really many, many files in order to create a decent library. So I suggest you to go to archive.com, that is this site, and search for main ROM sets. If you search for uh, main ROM sets, you will find some big sets of ROM that you can download. I suggest you not to download uh, the biggest pack of ROM when they say GHD ROMs, because they are uh, very um, very big in space, in fact you can see 720 giga and uh, also most of the newest game will not work because uh, they need to go on some other emulators that uh, I will show you in another video so I suggest you to download the um, sets with no GHD so you can easily and more fast download the the sets okay so now you download the set you can download to torrent or direct download if it is available and obviously it takes a while to download okay i already downloaded them so once you downloaded you copy all the roms that you downloaded into the roms folder that we saw before after doing that, without unzipping it, so you copy them without extracting them or unzipping them. Then you go 
to the to the MAME icon and you open the MAME. Okay. No, just a second. And I will show what to do now. Okay, so you press F1 and then you select Audit Media for all games. And then the MAIM will start to search all the ROMs you have copied in the ROMs folder. As I downloaded a very big archive, I have almost every ROM available in my main. You will find available only the ROMs you download. So, after you downloaded, after you uh, made this procedure, sorry, you can go on the left menu and you search and you click on available. That will show all the ROMs that are available in your system. Then just select one ROM and you can start play. And here it is, it is an example of a game. Obviously you can play only the ROMs you downloaded. So if you go on the left menu where available is written and you click on it, you will find only available games. And so you are sure you already have the ROM. As you can see, the ROM is working good. And it means that the MAME is working good. Now, um, we, uh, we will uh, go to some basic settings in order to make you understand how to set especially the controller and the most basic functions in order to have a good experience with MAME. So, just open a game open a random game that you already own okay so after you open the game you press the tab button any access to this menu. So go to input settings and, and here you can see input assignment this system and input assignment general and also input devices. Input devices will select the device you are using to control the game. In this case I have a keyboard but you can put a joystick in and it will work. When you go to general and to the user interface, you will find all common, all the commands that works generally in the menu. If you want to change a command, just press enter and then the key you want to assign to that command. When it's highlighted in yellow, you press enter and then you press the key you want to assign. Here you can see some important commands for the menu, especially save state, load state, test menu for the game, and some other interesting stuff that you can use in every game you play and in the main menu of the emulator. Then player one controls, you can assign here controls that works for every game. So as you can see, right stick, left stick, button one, button two, there are a lot of buttons because this is for every game you play. In this case I set a keyboard, you can set a joystick, you can set a joypad, whatever you want. 
here is the same that before, you press enter and then the key you want to assign if you want to change it. There are also the control for up to 10 players. It is an example on how to change controls. Obviously, if you go to the input assignment in this system, this will work only for this game. In fact, we see we just saw the menu that is good only for Mortal Kombat with low punch, high punch, and whatever. So, general is for general, but if you need to set certain type of controller for just one game, you can do it in uh, this system. Okay, so F3 reset the game and F2 goes to the menu of the game. All the games does not have a menu or they do have a menu but it's not working like this one. So it's impossible to change the menu of the game. So to change some feature of the game you can press tab and go to DIP switches. Here you can find a small menu already uh, working and you can change some setting of the games for example we can you can set some dif you can set the difficulty we are changing the game types you can change the type of cabinet for players to players um, game version if it is available and after you do this you will play the game with the the new um, regulation you set. In fact, for example, we changed the time to one and a half minutes and here say two minutes because the standard of the game is two minutes, but if you reset the game you will have the new regulation of the game. Okay, let's try. Here it is. Uh, the game now, the cabinet now is for four players. You can see that there are four slots available. And the game is one and a half minutes, so it worked. You go to deep switches, you change the settings you want, and then you reset the game with F3. That worked for the case when the game does not have a menu or the menu does not work. If you go in the menu and the menu does not work, just keep pressing F2 and F3 and the game will come back as we come back uh, normal. Okay, now if you go in a more modern game, for example, I selected Street Fighter the movie, that is not a good game, but and you press F2, you will enter the game menu. So here, you don't have to use the DIP switches menu, but you can go directly to the menu of the game and do all the changes you want inside this menu. You can change the sounds, the graphics, the, the skill level, and whatever. And then you can play. So, I think that these are all the most uh, important settings for the MAME and so now you can play. We will go more in depth of the MAME in, uh, in other videos that I will do lately. Just uh, one last um, thing, with S you can go inside the save menu and with L you can go in the load menu because you can save and load games in any time. Here it is an example. I save it the game and then I load it and I come back to the place where I save it. You can save whenever you want. So thank you very much for, um, the, for following this guide and if you like it please share